Hi everybody, welcome to Sharon's Home and Garden. Today I thought I would give you a garden tour. A lot has been going on in here since I saw you last and everything has been planted. So let's take a look around, shall we? We are going to start the garden tour here. This is the bowl of lettuce and apparently one kale. And this is all gonna be harvested. I'm just gonna chop the whole thing back and we will be eating out of this this week. It's beautiful lettuce. Isn't that beautiful? I know I say that a lot when I am filming a video I always say oh isn't this beautiful isn't this beautiful but I'm just amazed at the beauty of plants uh, over here is my onions in a pot just notice this they got knocked over it was so windy yesterday we were having like 30 mile an hour winds but they're doing okay they're starting to bulb up I have some blueberry plants here. These are ready to go in the ground. I bought them as sticks and they are ready to go in the ground. Then over here, this is uh, little gems. They're starting to form their heads. And here you can see they're doing really well in that pot. And my bok choy needs to be harvested. So we are going to harvest that and we'll have some stir fries this week. And the kale is doing really well. That is ready to be harvested as well. Then over here on this little bed, my bunching onions are doing well. I got this dill at the farmer's market. So I'm going to break that up and plant it. I don't know where yet. And then these, is, these are my cut and come again lettuces. So you can see they're doing really well. These are just about ready to be harvested as well, but I'm going to let them go another week. I've got a couple plants, a couple pots of flowers around. This is just leftover stuff that I had. So it's looking pretty good. Over here are my peppers and I threw some marigolds in the pepper pots. So they have grown quite a bit since you saw them last. These are hot peppers. It hasn't been quite hot enough for hot peppers. And look at the difference between hot peppers and sweet peppers. Look at the difference. And I know hot peppers grow slower, but they're, hot peppers like hot feet. They like to be hot and so I think these are jalapenos, all of these. Yeah, these are all jalapenos. And um, we have little maple trees coming up everywhere. So they're doing better than the other ones. These ones are ornamental. I'm not gonna eat them. But these ones I will be eating. In this pot here, I have bee balm and what else have I planted in there? Well, I think all I planted in there was bee balm. It's doing pretty well. 
along this fence line are all my cucumbers. So you can see they're doing pretty well. All of them. Some places I have two of them. I just kind of, I wanted to see how that works, how they grow. And then we're going to go down the right side of this trellis. This is my monastery bells. It has really started its climb, which is what I wanted it to do. And this is um, Japanese cucumbers, Japanese long cucumbers here. And then we start in with squashes and pumpkins. And I have all this labeled. And then these are, one of these is birdhouse gourds and one of these is loofahs. I think the small ones here are loofahs. And then down the right side, I'm sorry, the left side of the trellis, we have more melons down here. Uh, something's nibbling on this. I was hearing some weird noises last night. I have no idea what kind of animal it was. I can only guess it was a raccoon. And then I have, I wasn't quite able to fit those tomatoes. So these are all cherry tomatoes. Look at this. Broken off. Like I said, we've had some 30 mile an hour winds. So these cherry tomatoes, I'm gonna train to climb up the trellis here. Cause cherry tomatoes, you know how cherry tomatoes grow. They just grow like weeds. And then on this side, this is the other fence are all my tomatoes. And they're all starting to flower. And they all need to be supported. It's part of the thing I have to do today. Look at this, everywhere. I, there is just billions of them everywhere. Okay, carrots, oops, I'm gonna be in your light here. Carrots, carrots. And then I ended up planting my huckleberries here because these will be a perennial. I needed to find a spot for them And they're all getting berries, as you can see. So I have four huckleberry plants. And then rhubarb. This is Ellie's favorite spot. I think there's little mice in there. She just likes to sit there and survey the land. So as long as we're here, planted this bit, this container with flowers. This is my red, white, and blue basket. This is the Gardenberry Melon Pears. 
and this is another garden berry. Boy, these leaves are soft. I can't remember what it is. Where is my tag? There it is. This is another garden berry called Dwarf Tamarillo. And then my potatoes. Um, this is the Kennebec Whites. You can see they are just starting to flower. And my blue potatoes. Look at these beautiful flowers. Aren't they beautiful? They are all flowering. So it won't be long now and we'll be eating blue potatoes. Let's go in here. Onions, onions and onions. Boy, the wind has really wreaked havoc with these onions. So it looks like a mess. It's not as much of a mess. You know what's weird? Is there is, this is cilantro. I don't know where that came from because I had never planted cilantro in this bed. <laughs> It's amazing what the birds bring. Spinach is ready for harvest. We can start harvesting some of those leaves. It's going to be spinach salads for us. And then I didn't think the strawberry spinach had germinated, but it did. It's working. I have to go through here and weed. So I'm happy about that. And then radishes. I've got a few in there. Not real big yet. This is a radish mix. So it's a bunch of different kinds of radishes. And then in here is celery really starting to fill out you can see here and i threw a few cosmos in here because i didn't have any place else to put them so we'll see if they like each other cosmos are like just about anybody so all the celery is doing really well hi macy so I took the lid off my old strawberry bed. For right now, it's just sitting there. And then as we walk into the garden here, what are you smelling? Hmm? You can see the zinnias are just about ready to bloom. Oh, look, here's one. This is new from yesterday. Cosmos are a little farther away. And the Nicotiana is just starting to set its flower heads. You can see here. You see this little pollinator flying around there? Lots of little pollinators. Not that many bees yet. Look at this. Who wants some tarragon? <laughs> I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I think it's just so beautiful. Okay, in here I have, in, um, this way is north, by the way. So I put the shorter stuff in the front. Just a few peppers. Just a few more peppers. This one is a black pepper. That's why the leaves look like that. Another pepper there. 
another pepper there. Here's another one of those black ones. And then I have a couple tomato plants in here. These ones are the sweet pea currant tomatoes. They're little tiny tomatoes. I just absolutely love them in salads. These ones are looking kind of sickly, these tomatoes. Although we recently got a bunch of rain and before it rained, I put some Epsom salt and um, fertilizer on these tomatoes and I can tell you they are vastly improved. So they're just little bush variety tomatoes. And then in front here, this is another Nicotiana. And I put some marigolds. And this grass drives me crazy. My sage is on the way back. It's just a little trooper. Comes back every year. Marigolds, flat leaf parsley. Marigolds, flat leaf parsley. You can never have too much parsley. Curly parsley and curly parsley. This is my yarrow. Now this is the second year yarrow. And I'm finally getting flowers. So all of this here, here, here is first year yarrow. So I can't wait to see the flowers. And more marigolds in between. And then in the back is zucchini. There is zucchini there, is there zucchini there. I have no idea what kind it is because I planted a mix. So I may end up getting all eight ball or all yellow or all... Um, I think that one on the far left is a black beauty. So and then these over here are Canterbury Bells flowers. I ended up putting it here because they are perennials. This is beans and peas. You can see my peas are just starting to look at that rat's nest there. Like all grub in the same spot. Starting to grow and then those are all sugar snap back there, sugar snap. And then these are all bush beans in here. I've got one spot that's empty. I might throw some more seeds in there. But for the most part, they're doing pretty good. Back here are more garden berries. So these are ground cherries. And then in the middle, I put more zucchinis. And more yarrow. I want those as a border. This is the Ella campaign. Finally figured out how to say it. Google it. And then you, they have how to say it. And that is sunflowers here. These are the mammoth sunflowers and Ella campaign planted together. You can see this one is doing much better. So I just have a little tiny bit of weeding to do in here. This is zucchini. This is zucchini. I believe this is zucchini. And then these are a bush variety of delicata. So I have no idea how bushy they're going to get. I don't know how much they're going to spread, but we'll find out together, won't we? I have one sad little lychee tomato berry plant that survived. We'll see how that one does. More flat leaf parsley. Chives are coming back. And more yarrow. And then this bed, this is the one that had the cover on it. I decided to put all herbs in it. Um, I had to replant my sweet basil. 
and when I bought basil for those herb baskets that I made I kept one so this is sweet basil and then I have a bunch of different basils here we'll see how they do they're very bunched together so we've got like a blue spice basil what is this this is ornamental oregano this is Emily basil. Let's see, there's a bunch of plants in there. And here's a purple basil. Right here. Look, at something's digging in here. This is oregano. And I don't know what they're digging. It's not like there. In the middle, all around along the middle, it's parsley except for this is cilantro. And they really took off once they put them in the ground. Oregano, in the right area, oregano is a perennial here, but not in a raised bed because our winters are too harsh. Um, here is some more basil that I planted. Just threw it in here. And then this is creeping thyme. And then over here is German winter thyme. So we'll see how that works. I've never had my herbs all in one place before. So last, this is hyssop. And this one I lost my tag. We'll see what this one is. More flowers. Here's the prehistoric plant. This is a garden berry. It's supposed to be a good producer, but have thorns on it. You think? Look at this thing. So I have those put in, um, these are five gallon pots. My Johnny Jump Ups are still growing. It's not too hot for them. There's another one of those garden berries. Over here, these are forget me nots. In there. And mystery plant. I will look through my old videos and see if I can figure out what this is. Otherwise, we'll be able to tell once it flowers. One more thing, I am brought my bay leaf tree outside. And it's looking better. I don't put this in direct sun, even though it's a, like a Mediterranean type plant. Uh, it likes to be dry. I really need to prune it back and I think what I'm going to do is propagate, take some cuttings and propagate more plants and I can give them as gifts. Look at this beautiful hosta. It sits here on the north side of the house, is buried in ice and snow, minus 25 degree temperatures and it just is beautiful. What a beautiful specimen. I'm going to have to split this. Isn't that pretty? So last thing on the tour, I have these tomatoes sitting here because I wanted them out to get some rain. And it's supposed to rain again tonight, so they'll get more. And I had to clip them to the fence. Um, these were the ones that were started inside in the hydroponics. So they are going to be my first producers. I have no idea what kind of tomatoes these are. They're supposed to be greenhouse tomatoes, but I'm going to grow them outside. They are getting, they're really flowering up a storm. <clears throat> I have to find a spot for them. And I think I'm going to grow them in a pot. I don't know. I've got a couple really big pots that I haven't 
even attempted to fill yet. One of the things I have to do is a lot of maintenance. Um, I want to sweep up all these little helicopters and um, pull a few weeds that have popped through. There really isn't that much weeding to do. I do want to put down some more mulch in the garden, especially on the paths. Um, I have to weed the onion beds, pick spinach, and we'll see what else I can figure out to do. There's always something to do. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this garden tour. Um, if you like what you saw here, please do me a favor and click on that subscribe button. And until next time, happy gardening, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.